Okay, for this stagger stance version of the RDL, which is the Romanian deadlift, we're modifying it to make sure that we can keep good form while we're doing it. Good form is that our hips, we're going to pretend we have headlights on them and they're going down and up as we do this hip hinge. We're not letting them twist side to side at all. And then we also want to make sure that our hips stay in this plane here without shifting on a diagonal either direction or twisting forward in either direction. So none of this and none of this. We really want to stabilize through here. So this back leg is thinking, I'm thinking about putting traction on my foot as though it were about to go that way. But instead I'm just locking it in and pushing this foot forward, pulling that foot back and then making sure I'm lined up from the middle of my sternum here to my pico, to my pubic bone or the seam on my shorts here. And I can find that straight line and then keeping my thighs both parallel here in front of me. This is important for this exercise so that one isn't pulling forward and one isn't pulling back, but that they're staying exactly like this. And then I'm gonna come down into the bottom of my hinge, I'm thinking about opening this back part of my hip here and letting that glute lengthen. And then the glute medius is helping stabilize on both sides actually. But with this back leg, thinking of pushing it back, I'm actually activating this hamstring so that it's helping stabilize my pelvis. And then from there, when I come to the bottom here, if I find that my lower abs are not helping out with this whole deal, I need to inhale. Let it relax to feel it lengthen and then exhale and pull those lower abs in. And could you see what happened to my back there when I did that? I'll do it again. Here I am sagging and then here I am. With engaging lower abs helps lengthen that lower back. So that as I come up, I'm driving with my lower ab muscles and my glutes rather than using my lower back. So then from here, if we want to step it up a notch, we're going to go put that back foot on a wall or a post and we're gonna think of dragging the foot up the wall to engage that hamstring, and then setting ourselves up in a straight line here, thinking of no movement between the hips and rib cage, because we wanna keep that nice stack. I'm gonna to come to the bottom here, and then I can feel already. I need to inhale, exhale, engage those lower abs, and then I feel a fight happen here, where I realize I need to really release this muscle. So I'm gonna try again. Inhale here, exhale, engage, and drive up and it's already aching. And I can see I'm kind of going crooked. So I'm gonna fix that, keep these thighs parallel. And then if you have something in your hand and you're coming down like this, it may get that much harder even. It may not be time for that yet. So it's up to you to play around with it and figure out what it's gonna take for you as far as loading, whether you have a weight in your hand or you don't just keeping those key points in mind of form. And then you can also do an in-between version where you just take a sandbag or a bag of rice or a step stool or something, stick it under your back foot here and push onto it so that your foot's like in a different place, challenging your hips from every angle to try to make this range of motion come from here and here. And then with that, you can also play around with coming down into more of a squat here. These are Bulgarian split squats. Keeping, you can see how I want to hitch up here. Really trying to keep level here. So this advice can be applied to anything with legs. <laughs> Deadlift, squat, split squat, lunge, um, hip hinge. It's all the same ideas of stabilizing the core by using the glutes and the hamstrings, getting the lower back to stop doing the work and getting the rib cage to really like lock in with that pelvis to make a good stack.